Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to do another unboxing. I just did my Beautylish unboxing, but I'm going to do my Jeffree Star Valentine's Day mystery box unboxing. So excited for this. I'm more so intrigued by this because there's been a big buzz about these boxes. I don't have a lot from the Jeffree Star line. I have like tried a couple lip liners and some eyeshadow palettes because I do like his eyeshadow palette. I haven't really experimented with the brand. So I got the bigger box, which was the 75 they also had I believe it was like a $40 one I don't know let's just look inside the box by the way super cute all right so immediately I see that I got a pop socket with the Jeffree Star logo on it I've never used a pop socket before so I guess here's my opportunity I do like Jeffree Star so okay moving on Immediately I say I don't have an eyeshadow palette. I was kind of hoping I would get an eyeshadow palette just because it was $75, but whatever, let's keep going. So I did get one lip liner, and this is in the shade Unicorn Blood. So I have tried his lip liners before, and I do really think they are a good formula. They can be a bit drying, but they do last on your lips a really long time. Can't get it out of its box, though. All right, so his lip liners have this really cute packaging. And then Unicorn Blood is just kind of like a dark red color. This actually would have looked really good with my lipstick right now. So I'm happy about this. I really do like the formula of this and the packaging is so cute. This and a bunch of them in a cup make perfect decor. I'm literally scared because Jeffree Star has crazy colors and I just... So this is the Jeffree Star, obviously, Cosmetics Skin Frost in the shade Lavender Snow. Okay, I'm really nervous about this. First of all, this is huge. This is literally the size of my head, basically. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this color. Ooh, <clears throat> these are metallic. Holy cow. Super soft. I've never tried this formula before. Really metallic. So when I was ordering this box, I knew I would get crazy colors. That's the premise of Jeffree Star, but I still, for some reason, was hoping for neutral colors. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. It's not like a super crazy color, but I actually kind of could make this work, I think. But this is a really good all-over lid color, but oh my gosh, I don't think I'll ever make a dent in it. And then we also have the Supreme Frost Highlighter. This is in Frozen Peach. That sounds promising. <laughs> okay, so this is the packaging, and then... So this looks like something I can definitely work with. Ooh, complete different formula than that first skin frost much more of a sheer formula very glittery yeah it definitely has some glitters to it that's lavender frost and then Okay, so I'm really excited to try this, and I think it's really neat that I get to try both of the formulas. Alright, so we have, it looks like, a few lip products here. This is the liquid lipstick in the shade Posh Spice, and this is definitely a color I can work with. This looks very nude, a very cool-toned nude. Ooh, almost like gray. So that's what that looks like. Definitely can see myself getting down with this color. Really excited. I've never tried the liquid lipstick formula. Um, there's also another one in here. This is the shade Diamond. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is typical Jeffree Star fashion. Uh, will I ever wear this color on my lip? Oh my gosh, it's even more neon in person. Like, no. I won't ever wear that, but what's really neat about his liquid lipsticks is a lot of people use them for liquid eyeliner. I do have an Instagram where I do play around with a lot more colorful looks, so I actually think I'm going to use this as a liquid liner, or I mean if I ever do a crazy look. <laughs> I mean, I'm clearly not going to get a lot of use out of this, basically, is what I'm saying. This is fun. <laughs> okay, so then I have a another liquid lipstick. I don't even really like liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Dream House, which is a metallic Barbie pink. Oh my. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I actually can see myself doing some looks with this. So that's the bottom one right there. I definitely can see myself doing some looks with this, but I don't think I'll use it that often, let's be honest here. Um, and then I did get one lip ammunition. So these are really cute. And this is Jeffrey's Girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy bright. So take a look at that. That's 
I feel like I wish I wouldn't have gotten two kind of similar colors, but I do have a theory though that pink lipstick is gonna come back, like hot pink lipstick, because Fenty just announced their new liquid lipstick that they're coming out with, and it's like more of a hot pink. So I think we have a future for hot pink lips. I don't necessarily know how well they flatter me. They're not my favorite formula, but yeah. Very bright hot pinks. I don't know. I should wear them more honestly though because they're cute. Okay, and then I did get a shirt. I opened this already. I'm not going to lie. And this just says... I saw two other unboxing videos and I guess everybody got this. It just says can't relate. Really cute valentines -y. I've never had like YouTuber apparel before, but I'm glad it's like makeup related, you know? Alright, so overall my box, I got... A shirt, a skin frost, and a supreme frost. Both are highlighting powders, just different formulas. A lip liner, three liquid lipsticks, and a lip stick. So, $75.00. That's pretty good. And then again, here are the colors in case you were wondering. Pretty colorful outcome. I think I'll only really wear like three things that I got in my box. Alright, so overall, do I think it was worth it? If you are somebody who wears a lot of crazy colors, oh my gosh, absolutely, this box is worth it. If you're like me and you don't wear crazy colors, I can't say that this box is worth it. It's really not. I don't have a lot of Jeffree Star things, so in that regard, this is kind of good for me because I can try a lot of his formulas and maybe go back and purchase these formulas in colors that I would actually wear. But for the most part, I did only get like three things that are actually going to be worth the money for me. So $75 is kind of a lot. I don't think it was worth it for me. But if you're ordering a Jeffree Star mystery box, you know you're getting crazy colors and stuff like that. So you can't complain. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying from a practical standpoint, this probably wasn't worth it for me. It's really fun though because you just don't know what you're going to get because he does have so many crazy things. And I mean, his packaging is gorgeous. Just having his collection is just pretty to look at. I think if I were to do it again, I would get the smaller butts just so I can get the different formulas to try out, but I don't know. I, if this ever comes out, I'll probably end up doing it again just for the fun of it. Practical standpoint, this really wasn't worth it, but it is really fun, and I'm still kind of really excited to play with this stuff, honestly. I am kind of disappointed, though, that I didn't get an eyeshadow palette. I really was hoping to get an eyeshadow palette. That's what makes the mystery boxes really fun is when you get a really nice prize like that. Like the Beautylish ones were nicer because I felt like I got nicer stuff for the same value. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am now going to binge on these unboxings. It was more of the mystery for me. I don't really own a lot of Jeffree Star and I just kind of wanted to see what I would get because of all the hype. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.